Happy Halloween, Snacker Stars! It is your spooky host, Brandon, along with the extra scary co-host, the Heel Will Mahoney. Ooh, it's a Snack Society Spooktacular, Pally! That's right, our Halloween special right here today on Halloween mm -hmm. Day. We're not really doing so much of a review as we're doing a retrospective. Yes! yes. Classic. Now, when I think about Halloween and I think about things that you start to see popping up in the stores nowadays, yeah. you see something that used to be in the store every day. Exactly. It used to always be there and it was always a special treat. That's right. A special breakfast treat. That's right. A breakfast lifestyle item. It could be. You know? It just depends on your lifestyle. <laughs> there but you go. Basically, you know, in my household, I was confined mostly to your Rice Krispies, your right. Frosted Flakes, mm -hmm. your standard cereals that were slightly more nutritious, but there right. is a total whole another category of cereals that are just 100% awesome crap. Yes. And that is the sweet cereals. Among them are three legendary cereals. Yes. They are the monster cereals from General Mills. Bam! That's right. We have our homeboy over here, Frankenberry. That's right. We have his tag team partner, Count Chocula. There you go, the team captain as far as I'm concerned. And then we have an underappreciated yet still awesome Booberry. There you go. That's right. The triple threat, if you will. Booberry, of course, had that awesome Peter Lorre, uh, you know, voice going on for him, which was badass. We are also going to talk about our favorite WCW Halloween Havoc moments. Absolutely. As, as we enjoy our cereals and uh, retrospect, if you will. I don't think that's the verb, but I don't care. How long has it been since you had one of these? I haven't had them in years. Dude, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it's been ages. Ever since they, since they went into hibernation and you can't just get them whenever and it became a Halloween thing. I'm not going to lie. I can't tell you that I've had all three. I don't remember. I've definitely... Sure. I've, I've had Frankenberry. I know this. When I was real little, I loved Frankenberry. Mm -hmm. And then, as I got a little older, I went to the dark side yeah. and was all about Count Chocula. Booberry was always the harder one to find. He wasn't always around. It was not always around, and I, if I've had it, maybe I've had it one time. Mm -hmm. It was, I'd always go to the other two. My always go to the other two. Personal note, my mom used to call my uh, biological father Frankenberry <laughs> because his name was Frank. <laughs> so there's a little tidbit for you there. There we go. I'll show you in the bag. They are very red. Oh, very red. They, I remember being a little less red, but... I remember more pink. Yeah. Do you remember having had blue marshmallows in there? No, I just remember the pink. I remember it all pink. Yeah, they were all pink. Okay, uh, now this is, of course, the strawberry-inspired one. Mm -hmm. You know? Like I said, as a little kid, I was very into strawberry, strawberry ice cream, and this was, like, my uh, jam. Oh, now I know I've had these for sure. As soon as I open <laughs> them up and smell them, man. Holy crap. Let me go ahead and pour mine, and then you can have the... Pleasure as well. That's there a we lot go. of cereal. I don't think I <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're doing a tasting here. <laughs> oh, that is sugar overload. There might not be much sleeping tonight here at uh, Studio 46. Or back at SAS HQ for that matter. <laughs> We've got various <laughs> types of milk here. This is uh, the 2%. Yeah, I think I'll go with that for these because chocolate just doesn't sound like it's going to work with this. I'm going to say that for the, the, the count chocolate because I'm going to really up it a notch there. Tell I haven't poured milk in a while. I uh, know. I'm not a milk drinker, so this is going to be interesting. It's been a long time since I've had some milk, but with some Frankenberry, I remember we get that great strawberry milk deal exactly. going on. Exactly. Mm. Okay, now you got your ghosties. Yeah. You got your marshmallows. Without a doubt. There you go. All right. Let's dig in here and get some marshmallow action. Mm. Sugary goodness. That's a taste of childhood. Mm. That's a taste of nostalgia. Mm. Mm. I can't remember the last time I had a bowl of cereal, man. And especially a bowl of junky cereal like this, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Now, we're not really trying to pick these apart and review them, but we mm. all know what they are. Mm. These obviously the major, major profile is strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry and sugar. Mm -hmm. A little bit of marshmallow. And like Will was referring to. It turns your milk pink. It turns your milk pink there and you gives go. you strawberry milk. Yep. So, salute. There you go. Um, Frankenberry, what's not to like? Full thumbs up. Bang. Now, Halloween Havoc. Maybe we start at the beginning? Mm-hmm. I, I gotta go. Halloween Havoc 89, the first time out. Halloween Havoc would be a ridiculous show. And when you have an electrified cage, 
and you bring it down, and it catches fire. And for some reason, Bruno San Martino is there. Well, they're in Philadelphia. Well, he knows a Pittsburgh guy. Yeah. No, no, but it was in Philly. But yeah, Bruno San Martino's there. The cage catches fire, getting lowered from the ceiling. Great Muda scales the cage and puts out the fire with his mist. That's right. The green mist takes it out. Because WCW no got no money for fire extinguishers. No. Nope. Gotta use the gimmicks. Someone was up there like beating on it with like a towel or something like Patrick or something before <laughs> Muda went up there and was like, I'll take care of that for you. It was an electrified <laughs> cage, you That's see. right. And Flair was there and Stinger and mm -hmm. yeah, Muda and the JTEX and yeah. all of them. Terry Funk. Terry Funk, that's right. Halloween Havoc 89, strong show. Funny. Check it out on the WWE Network. That's Good right. Good stuff, but Muda putting out a fire with his mist. That was also the first time we noticed that the Philadelphia crowd was a very heel crowd. Hey, hand the dynamic dudes. Couldn't stand them. Cheer the Freebirds against the dynamic dudes. That's right. There you go. All right. Let's move on. Do it. Mm. So I guess we just, I think, stay in the Barry, mm -hmm. Barry wheelhouse. So Count Chocula, you gotta wait. Yep. It's time for our, our mystery contender here, Mr. Boo Barry. Boo Barry. Now, also, you'll remember that there's a couple other fruity uh, friends that hang out with these guys. One is called the Fruit Brute. Oh, and they bring those back too sometimes. Sometimes, and the Fruity Yummy Mummy. Yes, and I have seen those at Target mm -hmm. in the last year, but I guess they're not bringing that back, those with these. Maybe in the I spring they bring those Maybe back or something? Maybe, or just alternate years or something like that. Yeah. A uh, very purple look to these. They look like the same Pac-Man ghosts or whatever yeah. those are. It's the same. It's the same darn cereal that's dyed a different color. Yeah. Now I would assume Boober and Blueberry is what I'm assuming. Supposedly. This is, this is the one that I think if I if I have had it, it's been one time. Okay. But it's, it wasn't around back then. Compared to the Frankenberry, right off the bat, the experience is much less. It doesn't smell like anything. No. Yeah. It doesn't smell like blueberry. No. It's just. I don't know. Yeah, and blueberries can be pretty fragrant from what I remember. And let's take a moment here and just acknowledge real quick. We're eating cereal and milk, and we're drinking. That's right. <laughs> this is the breakfast lifestyle. Without a doubt. Cheers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Also in the back, you have some activities. Uh, me, Casa, Boo, Casa. Me, Casa, Boo, Casa. Yeah, you can build, uh, I guess, Blueberry's house. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's dig this in here. It's just same darn deal with you got your... They're marshmallows, you got your, but this time it's purple. Once again, I'm gonna stick with the uh, regular old milk. But I'm gonna step it up a notch when we get to the Count Chocula. Yeah, man. Now this time, of course, the milk will turn blue, but not getting any kind of berry excitement here. I said Boo, Boo Berry was always like the the um, the outsider of the group. I remember back in the day in the stores, they just didn't have it. He was the loner. Yeah, they'd be on commercials though. Maybe it was a regional thing. He was the latchkey kid. All right, Boo Berry, let's see what you got going on here. Mm. I don't taste as flavorful as either. It does, it does not, rather. I can speak good. Mm. That's just cereal. Mm. It's like generic cereal. Mm -hmm. There's no berry taste. Very, very little. I'm not even getting the heavy sugar flavor, even with the marshmallows. No. No wonder this guy was like the jobber of the three with his Peter Lorre voice. And, yeah, it's very good master. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need the booberry in your life. This is weak. Yeah. If you're a fan of booberry, you're going to need to take up for it and tell us on the social media because this is weak from all of us. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to taste this milk. I'm getting enough of it to tell I'm not getting anything from it. It tastes like sour milk. I got to do a quarter on this. Yeah. Weak. Weak. No, no, nothing to speak of of any excitement. No. Other than blue. A little bit sweet. There's tiny bit of a fruity flavor going on, but you can't discern really what it is. Yeah. Could be juicy fruit gum for all that I know. But yeah. Excuse me, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this the uh, old quarter as well. It's yeah. Just, nah. The jobber of the group. Yeah. That's for sure. And with that said, I mean, I don't know if it's the jobber of the Halloween Havoc stuff, but you can't talk about Halloween Havoc in a retrospective without bringing up the Chamber of Horrors. Mm-hmm. Holly had was a uh, 91. 91 and Dean Speed. Yes. Barry, Barry Wyndham was supposed to be in it, but he got his hand broke by uh, Larry Zabisco out back. That's right, in the car door. Mm -hmm. But he named, got the Cruncher nickname. But there was supposed to be, uh, there's a lot of other guys that were actually in it, like Abdul the Butcher, Cash yes. Jack. Uh, it was another one of these things where it was a big ass cage they brought down. I think it was a Thunderdome cage. They just brought it back and covered it in like, like weeds and tree limbs and. There was oh, coffins in it. They would have learned after they caught fire that you don't want to put flammable stuff on there. But there was also <laughs> an electric chair in the middle of the ring. Yes. 
And when you the, the, to win the match, you had to put one of the opponents, one of your competitors, in the electric chair, and there was a switch against the wall. You had yes. to throw the switch, uh -huh. and you had to fry one of the competitors. I guess yes. they were supposed to die. Yes, because you see, in WCW, we kill a man on pay-per-view. That's right. I'm not going to tell you who died, but it happened. Check it's out. on the network. Yeah, check out on WWE Network, or maybe even on YouTube if you get a chance. It's really interesting. <laughs> Chamber of Horrors. Yes, Chamber of Horrors, Halloween Havoc 91. It was only done one time, and it was never seen again, because it was, it was truly a horror. Exactly. It's main event time. It is main event time. Let's Absolutely. get to it. We mm. got another bowl here. Yes, we do. We're not mixing and matching on our, uh, no. you know, cross-pollinating our various cereals here. Although I do have some mixed things. <laughs> Might make an interesting combination there. Might be. It's Count Chocula time. This is obvious. This is the king of the monster cereals. Yeah, this is like, you know, you're in the aisle with your mom getting the cereals and she's like, you know, which one are you going to get? You're going to get Total. You're going to get uh, <laughs> Total. Product 19. Special K. Special K. <laughs> Whose mom was asking you to get Total? <laughs> was your mom asking you to get Total? All brand. <laughs> but, oh. Now that right there, that is sugar, that is chocolate. Oh, that is chocolate, dude. And <laughs> you say, I want the Count Chocula or I want the Cookie Crisp. And right. You just wouldn't do it, man. <laughs> but once in a while, if Dad came to the store, mm. you'd get the Count Chocolate. you get the Cookie Crisp. Mm -hmm. That's the way it goes. There you go. I'll get that milk right over there for you. Will's got a different slant he's going to do on this, I think. Oh, yeah, because, you know, if you were if you're being hardcore back in the day, and I'll say it right now, this is, the, this is the taste of a birthday morning. This is the taste of Saturday morning cartoons. This is a true treat. And if you really wanted to step it up a notch back in the day with this, you'd get chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. I mean, look how they do chocolate almond milk. But chocolate, chocolate, this makes your milk chocolate anyway. I can already smell but, the chocolate coming off of this. Oh, yeah. This is no joke. Those aren't marshmallows. Just from it sitting in the milk, man. I mean, you'd have to, I think the only way you cannot be down with Count Chocula is if you just don't like chocolate. Yeah, if you're allergic or something. Yeah, I mean, seriously. I mean, we, we already know where this is going, so let's just dig in. Mmm. You can't beat that. It's chocolatey. I'll try to tip this. It's crunchy. It's just sweet. enough. It's sweet. Because, I mean, that is a, a sight of beauty. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, chocolatey, awesome goodness. Very tasty. I enjoy mm. it. You should enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone should. It it's kind of chocolate. Yeah. It's marshmallows. It's chocolate. It's crunchy. It's delicious. It's in chocolate milk. Even if you don't put chocolate milk in it, it makes chocolate milk. Full thumbs up. The With, king of chocolate cereal. Without a doubt. I mean, mm. I haven't tried this new Crave thing that's got the chocolate in it, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine it being better than this. Maybe it is, but you're lying. I'm going to go ahead and give it a full thumbs up. Mm -hmm. How chocolate. The king of Halloween. Now, mm -hmm. the king of Halloween having moments in my eyes in particular. Oh. Know, Will might agree here. <laughs> That's a good one. How we have it was it 90? Mm -hmm. It was how we have it 90. Sting is champion. Sting is the world heavyweight champion. Yes. Defending against Sid Vicious. In Chicago. In Chicago with the orange and black ring with the electrical tape and everything. Yes. And the four horsemen had concocted a plan. Mm -hmm. We're going to get that belt off the of Sting. <laughs> if, if, it, you know, if nothing ever happens, we're going to get that belt off the of Sting. So right. what they did... Well, we got a blonde guy in our group. Mm -hmm. We got a blonde guy. Yep. So they kidnapped Sting somehow during the match, tied him up, dragged him to the back. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're like, oh, they must have had a brawl back there because here comes Sting staggering to the ring. You know, <laughs> his, his paint's all messed up, his head's down. Behind his face. And then Sid, I forget the move that he He used. goes a body slam, falls on top, and gets the pin. That's what it is. That's all. It's real quick. That's right. St Sting tries to body slam Sid, falls back, the pin's over. One, One two, two three. three. Balloons drop from the ceiling. New Sid Vicious, new world champion. But wait. <laughs> but wait. But wait. Who's that guy? That's not Sting. He's no. Not, he's not quite as muscular. He's a lot taller. And he's more tan. <laughs> <laughs> That's Barry Windham with a weird haircut. Exactly. He suddenly looks like some, some girl or something. Yeah. <laughs> and and stings out in the crowd with ropes around his 
Yeah, he's, Pomeranus Royce. He's coming out, like, you know, breaking the ropes out. And he <laughs> referee restarts the match. And yes. Yes, uh, Stinger ends up winning. But yeah, it's real quick after that, and it's all all said and done. But the key here is our, the crowd bought it hook, line, and sinker. They did. No one didn't think it was Sting. They were, People were like, holy shit, Sid won the title. They weren't paying attention, and there was a very famous wrestling magazine cover that showed Wyndham kind of sneaking away and laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very evil-like. Maniacal like a Count Chocolate. Exactly. Fully sick. But... Mm. Absolutely the best Halloween Havoc moment in my eyes, and I'm sure many of yours too. You can catch all the Halloween Havoc moments and more on the WWE Network. I'm That's not right. shilling here, I'm just no. letting you know. And also on YouTube and maybe even <laughs> Vimeo or uh, Daily Motion or one of those. I'm sites. sure it's easy enough to find it out there. Dodgy, Educate yourself. Dodgy kind of sites like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, what is not dodgy is the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society. We have brought you this very fun edition of the Halloween Spooktacular That's series. right. And we will continue to bring you more entertainment, provided that you continue to watch. That's all you got to do. That's what you got to do. And also join us uh, on Facebook by clicking the link down below. Become one of us, not just a viewer, not just a fan. Become one of the Snack Food Appreciation Society. Mm -hmm. Also follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS, and that guy is Heel Will Mahoney. At Heel Will Mahoney and at Brandon Reich SAS. Use it on the Twitter. Use it on the instant grams. Straight flexing. Get the behind-the-scenes scoop. All kinds of stuff we just put on the instant grams. And when you do, all across that social media universe, hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. You want to know about these cereals? You want to know about the retro stuff? You want to know about the new stuff? You find it all out with hashtag Snack Society. And when you do, like, favorite, share, subscribe. Join that four horsemen that helped Barry Windham become Sting at Halloween Habit. That's right. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next Halloween. Bye-bye. Woo! -bye.